You don't have to venture very far to find a historic site in St. Louis. So why travel 30 miles outside of the city to look at a bridge? Well, this bridge, Sandy Creek Bridge north of Hillsboro, is one of only four covered bridges left in the state of Missouri. Nearly 200,000 people visit this historic site each year, some just for the scenic photo ops, but they leave with a deeper connection to our state's history. Well, Sandy Creek Covered Bridge, as you see here, was built originally in 1872 um, as part of a project to build six bridges in Jefferson County that connected uh, Hillsboro, the county seat of Jefferson County, to St. Louis County. Sandy Creek Bridge is the only bridge remaining of those six. And although it's had its fair share of rehab projects over the years, from flooding, graffiti, and general wear and tear that comes with being in nature, the bridge remains in good shape. And that's largely due to the careful attention in maintaining its historic structure. And a lot of the bridges at that time were being built on what is called the Howe Trust design. So this was one of the prevalent uh, types of construction for covered bridges so you can actually put more weight on the bridge. Now, can it take a car today? No. But it could through much of the 1900s. Bridge designs have continuously evolved to support heavier traffic while remaining cost effective. And the Howe Trust design did exactly that. The truss bridge was already a common design. It utilized an interconnected framework of beams, usually in a triangular pattern since triangles cannot be distorted by stress. The Howe truss became the preferred method because of the prefabricated materials that were easily assembled and distributed, and, in theory, the only maintenance it needed was to tighten the screw and nut connections between the iron rods and wood panels a much simpler task than joining two wood planks together. And what you have are beams that are crossed like this and then upright um, wrought iron rods. And what happens is all your weight is supported by these iron rods and it is dispersed by the cross members. However, when iron became much more affordable, there was a quick pivot to metal made bridges and soon the need for covered bridges became obsolete. But in 1967, the state of Missouri took control of the remaining covered bridges throughout the state to preserve what are now historic sites. There were pieces, siding was missing, there was a tin roof, it was kind of leaning, people had put piers underneath uh, just to help support it. And so what had happened was the state parks came in and started a new restoration project to pretty much what we see here. Uh, but traffic was still going over the bridge. Um, so in 1981, due to damage that was occurring over time, um, it was closed down to all traffic and a complete restoration was done. And in 1984, it was reopened to foot traffic only. The other cover bridges throughout the state, Burfordville in Cape Girardeau, Locust Creek in Lynn County, and Union Bridge in Monroe County, are all maintained and under the protection of the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. Uh, we want people to come out and enjoy everything about the site. Plus, it's a piece of history. This is a piece of our culture connecting us to our 19th century history. For Living St. Louis, I'm Brooke Butler.